All right, hello guys, and welcome to my second episode of Winter Thoughts for this year. It's been a couple months since we made our last one, obviously. Today we're going to be talking about the QBO, and this is an oscillation that really seems to affect uh, the temperatures of winter, and it really seems to either lead to very cold winters or very warm winters. Last winter, it pointed towards a warm winter, and that is what happened. So you can see that there is uh, some some really good proof behind this oscillation actually having a big effect on winter. Uh, the, the photo we're looking at right now is winners with negative QBOs, uh, negative 10 to negative 15 QBOs. And you can see there's a lot of cold there centered over the eastern United States, particularly over the Great Lakes. And it really extends down into the south, southeastern United States and all of the northeastern United States and mid-Atlantic. So usually these winters do end up being very cold when they do have a very negative QBO. And you can see there's a lot of warm there for Nevada, Utah, Arizona, California, Oregon, and Washington. Now, our next photo is going to be a positive QBO. And you can see it leads to a little bit of cold there in the southeastern United States, but a lot of warmth for all of the northern United States and western United States. And really, this, this leads to a very overall warmer winter, a lot like last winter, actually, is what you could expect with a positive QBO. Now, here's kind of your oscillation where we can kind of see it happening uh, year by year. And I know this is a lot going on. Don't pay too much attention to the very top end of this uh, or even a lot of the middle end, as I have made some lines here in the we recent winters where this has taken effect. You see there's a lot of red lines. That's centered over the winters with negative QBOs. And then those black circles are circles that I made, and they actually are the really negative uh, readings there that I've gone ahead and circled. So we're going to start with 2009 to 2010. You can see 2010 is at the very left of the bottom one, and then 2009 is at the very right of the second to bottom one. And you can see we had a very negative QBO there with all those blues there. Uh, and then I have the red line centered over the winter, and obviously we all know that ended up being a very cold winter for the eastern United States. Uh, and then for 2011 to 2012, we ended up having a weekly positive QBO and this one's really interesting because this is the only winter that I've circled that actually didn't end up being a very cold winter at all uh, and, and that's going to end up being very interesting to kind of look into and this is really where uh, it comes down to my channel being more about being realistic and telling you guys the truth rather than having an agenda here. Uh, I am going ahead and circling this because this one just doesn't add up to what I'm saying at all in this video but it is one out of let's see uh, six that I've gone ahead and circled so uh, one out of six is not too bad, but I did want to mention that 2011 to 2012 did have a negative QBO and it didn't really play out like a negative QBO winner. So that is always possible for this winter, uh, but things look a little bit more likely to be colder, according to the QBO at least. There's a lot more things that go into it that we can't see yet, but this is one of the earlier uh, oscillations that we can see and start to pay attention to. Then you can see 2014 to 2015 had a negative QBO. There And that was a very good winter for the eastern United States. Pretty cold and very snowy for a lot of areas. Also, 2017 to 2018 had a very negative QBO there. And you can see that is, again, I think uh, another winter that I thought was very snowy and very cold. And then you can kind of see that circle where the colors seem to end there in 2019, where I think the QBO is going to go ahead and go negative and be within that black circle that I've made. And heading into winter... Uh, I think we will have a negative QBO here. As you can see, there was a positive spike before it for last winter, and I think we're going to go ahead and go negative. Anyway, guys, that's it for this Winter Thoughts video. Uh, let me know if any of you know more about the QBO than I do, if you like these thoughts that I have on it, if you if you agree or disagree, I'm open to opinions. This is only a Winter Thoughts video, so this isn't a forecast by any means, even though I did just give my opinion that I do think that it will go negative. Uh, but, but take this with a grain of salt, as I think that a lot could change, obviously, in the coming months. I'm going to start making winter forecasts once August comes around, so we're only about a month and a half away from when I'm going to start making some more uh, actual predictions for the winter time. So I, I, I really hope to see you back for those videos, as that's going to be really fun to be making those again. Uh, I always love making winter forecasts. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day and a great rest of your week. Uh, see you in the next video.